One thing, okay, very quickly, is just uh, making sure that you're designing learning in chunks. So, as we were talking about before, mm -hmm. you're 23,000 bits of information, yeah. or 11 million, whichever, yeah. give or take. Um, when you're looking at that kind of information and you're taking it down bit by bit by bit, those um, 127 bits is kind of like, in, in my research, has been uh, fairly grossly accepted as being how much we can handle. We actually chunk that. So we go, okay, we can then handle um, seven plus or minus two, so five to nine, chunks of information. When you're designing courses or training or learning development, you need to be certain that you are actually providing chunks that are not too deep, not too, too much at once. So you're bringing it down to smaller bite-sized pieces. If you try and overload people and there's too much information there, it's, you end up with what we call being um, chunked up, mm. way, way too mm. chunked up. <laughs> and it's like, you know, you kind of think of McDonald's really, it's like there's way too much in all of that, way too much sugar, way too yeah. much stuff. Just, let's just mm. keep it nice and lean and let's give bite-sized pieces of information. And in particular, mm. it, this is some very old and controversial uh, information that I had back when I was a teacher before I retired is that with boys you have no more, and men, are no more than 17 minutes before their maximum attention span is starting to be depleted and they're starting to wander around the room. And that go, long? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. maximum, I did say maximum. Maximum, 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 maximum yes. give or take. And then of course with, with girls or, or women, you've got roughly 23 to 27 minutes. So. You've got to make sure that's that a body fat index. <laughs> You're talking about body fat. I index. always get those mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> but let me ask. I mean, I, I totally get that. So the, our attention span. So I, I guess mm. it's like what we're doing here. We yeah. go for about seven minutes mm. and we take a break. Take a break. And then we go for. So mm. you Or saying, change track. Or change. Completely. Yes. Mm. Not not to okay. something similar. Mm. Change track. Yeah. So uh, it's like you'll see a lot of coaches. They may ask a question and get you quite emotionally involved in mm. a situation. And then all of a sudden they go, oh, yeah, so what'd you have for breakfast? And you go, oh. I hate that. Yeah, and they snap you out of it because you have mm. to break that state. Mm, yeah. mm. Otherwise, the brain just gets sluggish and, and we switch off, we totally switch off and we, we get over chunk, chunk overload, chunked up, whatever you want to call it. And, and the, basically the learning ceases. So you, you can be trying to shove as much information as you like into someone, but if they are hit, have hit overload, mm. it's a mute point. So you need to be certain Number one, make sure you're giving bite-sized pieces that are, if you've got a room full of women, you've got a little bit longer. If you've got a room full of men, make it shorter. Okay. And, and then make sure that the content you're giving in that time frame is relevant to the preferred learning styles of those people in the room. So mm. Linda, are you feeling a bit chunked up? A bit chunked up? Yeah. So what would be <laughs> I your... love the bit about chunking. I think chunking. that's really important. Good, yeah. So what would be your Some number of my one? Top tips. Top um, tip. I think that one of the things that we fail when we're doing lead, um, learning and development programs is we think that people will learn something new in one day. So let's do the one day or the two day program or the one off program. That's not how it works. People actually need to be exposed to a concept several times and they need what we call spacing, a time in between hearing something, thinking about it, practicing it, doing it before they have any chance of developing a habit, a new habit or a new skill around that. So I think that's where we've really failed in the past in thinking about how, and it's, and people don't get a return on investment because, you know, people have great, you know, they feel good at the end of the day, you know, they, well, that was an awesome sort of program. So the training program really has to be backed up with ongoing mm. facilitation by their coaches and their managers back in the yeah, workplace. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. there needs to be cues in the environment, even just a post-it note on your computer yeah. saying, you know, remember to do X, Y and Z. So yeah. people need to have an intention from that learning about how they're going to actually use that learning in the workplace. So how they're yeah. going to take it from a concept yeah. into the so what. Mm -hmm. I have maximising had... that transfer of learning mm. from, and I think one mm. of the other things too, in, in tra sorry, just jumping in there, okay. um, in the L&D sector, a lot of what happens is we go, okay, we've got this great uh, program, I want them to learn this. Mm. So mm. You have to have a context. Mm. If there's no context back in the workplace for sitting it down and learning something, mm. they're switched off. Mm. Uh, if, if someone was to, to be told, sit down and watch this particular show, mm. And they go, well, what for? Doesn't matter, just sit and listen. They're not going to take in anything. 
if, if they're it's in, got to be relevant. Yeah, and again, Indeed. it comes back to that, well, how do you get the brain to see the benefit? Yeah. If there is a future pro, uh, prospect in being able to utilise the information you're about to receive, then the brain will be open mm. to it. The brain will see the benefit of it. Mm. So uh, it's the same same with, you know, mm. just in general with children at home, you know, well, put your toys away, why? Yeah. It's the same principle. If the kids yeah. don't see a benefit in it, they're not going to do it or that you're going to have to tell them to do it over and over again. It's the same in the workplace.